So, this is my uh, garage where I do all my do-it-myself, do-it-yourself DIY projects. In this video, I will... This was a bit strange. Wait a sec. Ah. Much better. So, in this video, I will... Uh, not do any DIY project in my garage because it is a bit uh, cramped in there. I have a lot of stuff I need to get away from my garage. And if you can see there in the background, I have a shed and I need to finish up this shed before the winter. So let me take you over there and uh, tell you what I'm going to do. And as you can see on my garage, I have slates on my roof, same on the house, and uh, I'm using this 10-inch uh, uh, classic Norwegian slates, and uh, I thought I'd make a video of uh, me putting it up how I do it on my shed, but first I need to put up a uh, scaffolding. So I have some materials here. Let's quickly throw up the scaffolding. Yeah, and uh, by the way, I'm using this uh, 2x4, 4x2, um, as uh, the framework for the scaffolding. And I have some braces, what do you call it? Thinner one. I will be using crossbars to stiffen it up. I will be uh, going back and forth for a while and uh, into my garage for cutting them. It's getting dark pretty fast here in Norway now, this late at the uh, year, so uh, I'll see what I can do uh, today and then continue tomorrow. So I suddenly realized that uh, I had this uh, fantastic bright light, pretty much daylight here now, because uh, DIY perks showed how to create a super bright uh, LED. That means I can work a bit longer today. Okay, so uh, here you have the end result, but uh, let's continue tomorrow and I can do it very quickly. One, two, three. So let me show you some of the solutions I uh, selected and some of the solutions that are really important to 
add to a scaffolding if you're going to make it yourself. Since uh, my shed is made out of uh, wood, I'm using the wall on the shed as uh, support for the uh, scaffolding. So I have only these uh, four posts on uh, this side and these uh, braces, uh, diagonal braces, are the first and important uh, clue I want to uh, tell you about. These are uh, very important to not make the scaffolding go sideways. I have used uh, hex screws for the most part, at least no nails, makes it easier to take apart. But of course uh, you can use a nail and a hammer as well. And here you can see I have attached it directly to the wall of my shed, making it uh, securely attached. And uh, I'm gonna have some uh, panels here later, so these holes won't, don't bother me. Other places I've attached it into the wall, I need to put in some uh, filler and paint over it, of course, but uh, not too much work. At least it saves me a lot of work not having all these extra posts and anyway needing to attach it. If you don't attach it properly, then you can see what can happen. Not good, not good. And then, of course, the last thing. Securely position your ladder. I have this clamp here. And this rail on top is uh, really valuable because uh, it just gives extra confidence. Also rules and regulations uh, here in Norway that requires you to have this. But uh, it's so much more with ease you can work up here when you have this. So yeah, that was uh, pretty much uh, how I did it. If you have any questions, uh, or complaints, anything I should have done differently, let me hear from you. Yeah, of course, now starts the big job, putting on the slates here, so I can free up all the space in my garage I need for my other projects. That's a bit of a bigger project, so I think I'll make a different video showing you how I put on the slates. So, see you again later.